Hi, right, welcome back to the channel. Today, 2017 Dodge Challenger, we're gonna do the thermostat. We've had this problem before, where the thermostat is sticking, causes that, builds up pressure, and then finally opens up. Check my records, changed it a year ago. 25,000 miles later, we're having to change it again. I'll take you along with it, it's not hard. We got the new one, a Duralast thermostat. Thermostat housing and all. Thermostat's already in there, it's already got an O ring. That's to bleed the air out of, out of the lines. Let's get started. See, we already got the car pulled up on ramps. Uh, first thing we'll do is remove this cover. This thing just snaps on. Next, we need to take the air box off. Let's connect. Pull this one off. Another flat here. All right, on the back side of your housing here, you do have another plug, so don't just yank this off of here and yank that plug out. It should come right off. And here's our thermostat housing. We have two 10 millimeter screws bolts take hose clamp off first you will lose some water you better just twist break your hose loose let's leave it on there for now sure to pull the old o-ring out of there. Make sure all that surface is clean. Don't want anything in the way to cause a leak. Started. Finished off with a ratchet. Go in snug, you don't want to over tighten them. Remember you do have an o-ring in there. Out of the hose, put our hose back on. Back up into position where it was before. Blue valve. It's closed right now. Start it back up. All right, we're ready to put it back together. We're gonna add antifreeze, and we're gonna put it back in there. We do have one rubber mount. Got a little cap that goes on that, holds it in place. Don't forget your plug. Let's put it on. It should go on there fairly easy. Done. Plug it in. Leave this part open. We can put the rest of the air cleaner box back on. It's all on. We can still get to our bleeder valve. It's right here. I'll open it. We'll add some antifreeze. Let's fill our reservoir up. There's the antifreeze. We do have the bleeder valve opened up on the thermostat housing. Let's close that off. It does have an O-ring inside that. You don't have to crank down on it. You don't want to over tighten it. It's just plastic. That should be more than enough. We'll start it up and let it run. Curious, anybody knows why I would need to change the thermostat twice from 25,000 miles? The car only has 125,000 on it now. 
It is a 3.6 liter V6. And like I said, that's twice I've had the chance at a thermostat house. Thermostat. Once a year ago, taken by my records. And again, 25,000 miles later, one year. Yeah, right now we're working on purging the air out of the system, letting it run. Got our bleeder valve on the thermostat housing. We have the radiator cap off right now. Shouldn't be any issues. I don't want to try to take it off later when it's under pressure. Bad things happen. Yeah, hopefully uh, this helped you out. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thanks for watching. Birds are here out of the system while it's running. Flathead screwdriver. Slowly open it. Fluid's coming out. Good thing. Hopefully the air came out with it first. Tighten it back down. Let it run a little longer. Our reservoir's gone down a little bit. All right, it's been a minute or two. Car's up to operating temperature. We'll bleed off a little bit again. Slowly open it. Spray. Now get back down. Reservoir still good. We can finish putting the same back together. Keep tightening down your hose clamp. Your engine cover back on. Those little rubber grommets line up on these. That's how you change the thermostat on a 2017 Dodge Challenger 3.6 liter VVT. Thanks for watching.